If you spend a lot of time on vContact T, you will probably be interested in many things, for that you follow interesting communities and accounts on vContact T. But there comes a time when the accounts or communities you follow are no longer relevant today. Liking too many pages will clutter your newsfeed and make it harder to keep track of your family, friends, and all of the other updates you actually care about. Maybe, you're ready to scale back. Or like me, you liked silly pages in the past and you no longer relate. If you know your feed is too cluttered and you're ready to do some cleaning, unliking them all is the way to go. Welcome to Newbie Computers Channel. Go to my GitHub page and find the VK Unfollower repository, download the zipped code to your PC, extract it and place it where you want it. Go to the extension page in your browser, ensure that the developer mode checkbox in the top right hand. Click load unpacked extension to pop up a file selection dialog and select your directory. If the extension is valid, it'll be loaded up and active right away. Ensure that the enabled box next to your Chrome extension is checked. Now go to the contact page, make sure you're logged in. Reload the page to make sure the extension is loaded properly. Bring up the extension dialog box from the extension menu in the top right corner and select VK Unfollower. Select Unfollow Accounts option if you want to unfollow all accounts, select Unfollow Groups option if you want to unfollow all communities. The Fast Way option is used if you don't want to use the delay interval, but I remind you if you want this process to look like normal user activity, you should not use the Fast Way option. The min and max options are the smallest and longest random intervals in seconds if you don't use the fast way option. Click the start button to get started. When the script is working, a yellow box will appear below that contains information about the status and number of unfollows that have been done. In the normal option, i.e. the option where Fastway is not enabled, the script will work with a random time delay in each action performed. The script will run automatically, unfollow, scroll and reload the page if it reaches certain conditions. If you feel it's not fast enough or too fast you can modify the script to work at the interval you need. I deliberately didn't speed up this video to show the delay time in real time, so you can compare it with the speed at which the Fastway option is activated which I will show later. Now I will show how the script works with Fastway option enabled. For this experiment I limited the number of unfollows at 100. You see, this script works much faster regardless of the delay time. But keep in mind, I personally do not recommend using this option, unless you really need it. Let's see how long it takes to unfollow 100 accounts with the active Fastway option and please watch this video until it's finished because later I will also show you how the process is to unfollow all communities with this extension.
You will also find that the script will automatically reload the page every 40 unfollows. You can change this value in the inject.js file, replace the max unfollow to reload value with the value you want. This is to ensure the data is updated after the unfollow process is carried out. You see, the script stops working at the predefined limit. I limit the number of unfollows at 100 to find out the estimated time it will take. And now we know that to unfollow 100 accounts it takes approximately 2 minutes with the fastway option active. If the unfollow community option is on, the script will first take us to the list page of the communities we have followed. Then the script will unfollow them one by one with a predetermined interval. The script will auto scroll and auto reload if it reaches a certain amount to make sure the data in the list is the latest data, I will also show this process without using the fastway option, and then with the active fastway option to do a speed comparison. I will also limit the number of unfollows to 100 to make an estimate of how long it will take as in the previous example. I cut this video because I found that to unfollow 100 communities the time is close to the time to unfollow 100 accounts in the previous experiment. So that's an overview of how the unfollow process works for accounts and communities. You can use this script according to your needs, if you encounter any problems, you can leave a comment on this video, I will respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will really appreciate it.